Hey Cancer, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your message. Today's message is all about circles, and circles represent the universe at the macro level and the micro level. So we're talking all of the celestial heavens all the way down to our cellular level. So this could be about cycles, about patterns, about phases. Let's see what Spirit wants to bring to your attention. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Cancer? What do we have for Cancer? And we have the One. Wow, number 30. The One. Let's see what that means. Number 30. So 10, 10, 10. Okay. Non-duality, one love, unus mundus, unus mundus. Our ability to experience this archetype firsthand is limited. It comes in brief and potent moments that we are left to savor for a lifetime. The one is both the energy that unites all living beings and our capacity to sense this intimate union. This archetype eludes us most of our lives, appearing as a concept in a distant galaxy. Yet when we are in the midst of its power, a solemn reverence falls across all the land. We glimpse ourselves in the vastness of all consciousness and are neither small nor large within that field. We are neither important nor unimportant. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all duality fades away and we are left with what is the precious knowing that life is a gift and we are both the giver and receiver of this fortune so when in light it serves loves accepts and resonates and when in dark it ignores omits and excludes all right <coughs> excuse me jeez well, that is quite profound. So let, I'm very curious to see what else comes out here. What else do you want Cancer to know? Holy Spirit, what do we have for Cancer? And we have luminous grace and spiritual love awaken and emanate through me in a delectable divine offering of hope and healing for all beings. Wow. I mean, this is huge. This is like really getting that, feeling that connection to all things and to love. It's like what we aspire to, but it is happening for you. It's a, It could be a moment in time. It could be a period of time. <coughs> I don't know what's caught in my throat. <coughs> but I definitely don't want to start this reading over. All right, what else do we have for Cancer? And we have Celebration, Sacred Ceremony, Red Jasper, number four. So I feel like all of this is, it's like, um, I feel like it's like a, a celebration like that you're going to go to where you're going to feel this love and grace and this like awakening. So that could be what you're celebrating is this awakening. It doesn't have to be an actual party that you're going to, but it's like you're suddenly going to have this awakening and feel the presence of everyone and everything and including the divine and your spiritual team. All right, let's see what comes out. What else do we have for cancer? This is amazing. And we have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like this is all about like this clarity, this breakthrough coming in. This is like a total awakening of truth, of seeing the truth of all things. And it definitely can be one moment in time, I feel like. But it's like going to change your entire perspective. I feel like this is a new opportunity for you to really see things in a whole new way. What's the challenge here? And we have the Empress, which 
this looks like the Empress. So definitely could be finding out you're pregnant or this could be something that you desire. But I also feel like the challenge here is really being able to, um, it's like you want to grow into this and you may feel like you're not enough, like you're not supported enough, like you don't have enough finances. That's what I'm getting here. But this luminous grace, that is goes hand in hand with divine feminine. So I feel like there's definitely this beauty that you have that you don't even realize you have. But I do see a celebration. Um, this could be welcoming a new, a new life into the world. This could be... Um, you know, just finding out that you're starting this new life. You know, this could be a new career. I'm definitely getting pregnancy all over this. All right. So what is the advice from spirit here? And we have the hermit. So this hermit is all about that inner knowing and doing that deeper dive. I feel like this is your future self or your higher self really sending you the knowledge that you need to um, to proceed with a more um, wise and informed perspective. What is the outcome here? There's, this could also be a mentor that is coming to you. What's the outcome? And we have the night or the page of cups. So definitely more pregnancy uh, vibes here. So I feel like this is like part of your life purpose is either you or your partner is going to be a mother. I feel like this is really where, um, you know, true connection comes in. At the bottom of the deck, we have the uh, Knight of Wands. So I feel like this is something that you're going to actively pursue. This is what you know will bring you fulfillment and all of your energy is going to go towards this. So whatever this is, if it is birthing a new career, birthing a new relationship, birthing a new child, birthing, you know, whatever this is birthing, there's definitely birth energy here. All right. Let's see what guidance we have for cancer. guidance do we have for cancer? Okay, not very much here, but let's see. Oops. Okay, so we got butterfly, a change for the better. And I feel like this is a transformation. This is about that incubation period. So definitely could be, you know, in during pregnancy, like the gestation period. We have barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. And I feel like this new thing is going to be what you've knew, you never knew was missing, right? We have horse, short journey. We have marriage. Wow, this could be what's birthing. And then we have May. So I definitely see that if you were to get pregnant um, soon, you would be due in May. So I just counted the months. So <laughs> this is definitely a, a message of that. So May is going to be a crucial month for you. Your partner could be born in May. It could be something like that. Um, not they, their birthday could be in May is what I'm saying. But I, I definitely am feeling like this pregnancy energy due in May. I'm just seeing if there's anything else. 
anything else any other guidance you can give to cancer any other guidance for cancer all right we got a couple just two more cards we have the wheel indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly and i feel like you're going to find your way your purpose your reasoning and we have tortoise slowly but surely getting ahead all right those are your messages that came through thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it and remember the universe has your back and so do i take care